Ignite us. Young dragon. You never cease to amaze me. We never lost hope that you would return. Ignitus made sure of that. I should have come back sooner. I let you all down. But that won't happen again. Spyro, you've done more than anyone could expect of a dragon your age. What matters now is that you are here. And what's more, you've returned with your companions. Well, it's not like I've really had much of a choice in the matter, seeing as how we're stuck together. Interesting. And this device is foreign to me. Mason, what do you make of this? Never have I seen such a thing. It has the mark of evil. Likely crafted by Malifor himself. I fear we shall not be able to remove it. What? But there has to be a way. How can we fight back if we're made to fight like this? Spino, Cinder, you have done well to get this far despite this. Do not view this chain as a hindrance, but allow it to be a reminder of the bond you two share. Your destinies are now intertwined, and that thought is a hopeful one. Momentum has swung to our side, Ignitus. Perhaps this victory will mark a turning point in this war. I'd like to believe that. Citizens of Warfang, congratulations. You shall be the first to witness the resurrection of the Destroyer and the end of the world. Malafor. Sounds like a good thing. By issuing its destruction. Oh. The beast moves too quickly. We can't possibly catch up with it. To set out in pursuit would be useless. Then we shall wait for it to come back. And intercept it before it completes its circle. We must pass underground if we are to possess the element of surprise. Besides, it is our only hope of getting into position in time without allowing Malifor to know the city has been left unguarded. These doors were built as an exit to our city, not for going back in. They have to be opened from the inside. Spyro, Cinder, we will assemble the troops at the main gates, but we're counting on you to get them open. But you must hurry. Time is against us. 